Now I'm going to show you how to calculate a correlation coefficient. I will use data from the beginning of the lecture that measures the GDP per capita and net migration of individual countries. Note that I'm only going to show you four observations in the slides, but I used a total of 178 observations in this analysis. The first thing that you need to do is calculate the mean of x and the mean of y. Just as a reminder, as with the rest of the calculations, I did this for all 178 observations. Next, you calculate the standard deviation of x and y. You learned how to do this in the previous lecture. Next, you subtract the mean of x from each x. Three hundred and forty minus nine thousand nine hundred and two point one eight equals negative nine five six one point two five. And you do this for the rest of the observations. Then you divide the values from step 3 by the standard deviation of x, negative 9561.25, divided by 14484.48, equals negative 0 0.66. You do this for the rest of the observations. Then you subtract the mean of y from each y negative 381030 minus 5832.34 equals negative 386862. And you do this for the rest of the observations. Then you divide the values from step 5 by the standard deviation of y, negative 386862 divided by 706365.1 equals negative 0 0.55. And you do this for the rest of the observations. Then you multiply the values from steps 4 and 6 together. Negative 0.66 times negative 0.55 equals 0.36. And you do this for the rest of the observations. Then you add the values from step 7 together. When I did that, I got 69.12. Remember that I used 178 observations, and I'm only showing you four here, so the sum here should not be the same as the sum of these four observations. Then you divide the value from step 8 by the number of observations minus 1 for 178 minus 1, which is 177. 69.12 divided by 177 is 0.39. This gives you a correlation coefficient of 0.39.